Um, so, today I wanted to talk about, well, we're continuing on with the series of recovery process. I wanted to talk about treatment and therapy and some of the reasons why people don't think they're sick enough. Because I hear that a lot from people that I talk to on the internet with eating disorders. Um, they don't think that they deserve treatment because they don't feel sick enough, obviously. And I've been at that point once where I just didn't feel like I deserved to go see a therapist because I felt like I didn't look sick enough and I felt like that they didn't, wouldn't believe me. And I felt like if other people found out that I was going to therapy because of my eating disorder, they would look at me and be like, she doesn't have an eating disorder, look at her. I mean, I, just, I wanted to avoid therapy because I wanted to avoid mainly a lot of those comments and just other people's reactions because I just couldn't take other people's reactions at that point. But one of the most important things about having an eating disorder is that it doesn't matter your body weight or your size or anything. That That's not what an eating disorder is about. An eating disorder is a mental illness and obviously it affects you mentally. You struggle mentally. And yes, sometimes um, in extreme cases with anorexia, you, get, you can get to an extreme low body weight, but that's not in all cases. Most of the people with eating disorders that, you know, um, with bulimia and EDNOS and even anorexia and overexercising, um, they seem healthy, you know, um, or they might be just slightly underweight. Um, you usually don't see, like, you know, anyone on their deathbed, and people, d most doctors think, well, unless you're dying, you know, you then that's when you need treatment, you know, sometimes it's too late, and that's what's wrong with our medical society today is I believe that doctors want to wait until um, it's almost over, you know, until to treat you, and um, what you need to do is get in there and find a doctor that will um, work with you and work with a nutritionist and dietitian and um, a therapist, you know, and, and a doctor and just and uh, get all that together and to not be afraid, you know, of what other people are going to think. Because this is you, um, this is your struggle, not their struggle. If they're going to say things, you know, let them. Um, but that means that they just don't understand. And in them being understand, not understanding, then they're just ignorant. So, you know, not, it, I know it's hard, but you can't, you can't let that hinder your health because this is your health and your life. And I'm telling you, it's, it's not worth it to not go into treatment and therapy because of what, because you perceive yourself as not being sick enough because, um, healthy people and even overweight people have eating disorders, you know, and that's why it goes so uncovered for so many years is because people uh, put anorexia and bulimia and eating disorders into a category that equals vain and it's just about looks. That has nothing to do with it, okay? Um, so, yeah, um, when I went into therapy, you know, I was um, at my lowest point, at my lowest weight, so... Um, but I still didn't feel good enough. I still didn't feel sick enough, you know. Um, I wasn't on my deathbed or anything, you know, like not able to move or anything. But um, I still didn't feel sick enough. And, you know, even some people make comments, you know, you're like, you're not that sick, you know, because I tried to cover it up so well, you know. And those comments hurt and kind of pushed me away. But um, the therapy that I had wasn't so therapeutic because I didn't have the best therapist. But I just, you know, making this video to encourage you to go out there to, that if you have an eating disorder and you're struggling, then you're suffering. You know, you, you need help and therapy is beneficial. There's nothing shameful about going to get help. Nothing at all. Um, I actually think it's courageous and brave to step up and say, hey, you know, I have a problem. I need help with this. And, you know, it can help give you that first stepping stone on your process, on your way to recovery, and um, recovery is amazing, and don't get me wrong, it's, you know, it's, it's very, it's a long, long, hard road, you know, it's, it's been a year and about two months for me, and, um, it's still hard, and every day is a battle, but, um, it seems as if I'm winning the war, you know, I haven't given in to eating disorder behaviors since last summer, um, so, it's a far stretch, but, You'll get there, and some people do need the help. So I encourage you, you know, to go out and get the help that you need. So, anyways, um, that's all I wanted to say. This is.
probably a short video and I hope everybody has a really, really, really good Easter week.